Let's solve part two now. We're using a three measurement sliding window. So starting with the sum of the first three, we take that number and compare it to the sum of the next three and see if there's an increase. The first thing we want to do is just produce these sums. Then we can feed them into our already existing code to count the number of times when there's an increase. So let's take a look at how I solved it. Um, I still have the code in here for part one, but I refactored it so that we can make good reuse of code f between uh, parts one and part two. Part one calls num increases passing it the numbers. So num increases is pretty much what we did before. We use pairwise to give us the pairs and then we produce a sequence of booleans whether or not there's an increase between this item and the previous one. And then we return how many there are. So part one is refactored to look like this. Now part two, we also use num increases, but instead of getting all the numbers, we're gonna get the sums of three. So that's this function. And this function returns the number of times the sum of three values increases. So here are the sums of three values, and now our job is to return the number of times there's an increase. So false, true, false, false, true, 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 true. And how does this work? This returns a generator expression that uh, sums things. It uh, starts i at 2, so 0, 1, 2. And then using a slice, so 2 minus 2 is 0, a slice from 0 to 3, 0 colon 3, will give you those first three numbers. And then we use sum to sum them up. So this is just a handy function that gives you these sums of three. It just starts at, um, here's, the, here's the data. It just starts here, sums these three, and yields that sum as a value. And then for the next three, it yields that sum as a value, and so on. And when I run it with the test data, I get 5, which is what we're expecting. And when I run it with the real data, then we get 1130, which I put in before. And that's the correct answer. Just summarizing the interesting bits here, uh, pathlib, pairwise from iter tools. I use uh, type hints in most places. And the uh, slice, so slice allows you to take a portion of a list. So if you have a list of integers and you take a slice of three and then you sum that, you get a sum of those three. All right, see you next time.